So this is the Vlacken G3 Pro that we are off-road testing today. Also with Robbie from eScoot.ie that is on the Nami Born E. Check out his channel. At the moment I'm on dual motor and I'm on gear two. And it's raining today, so it's a good way to actually check out the, see what it's like holding up the rain if we have any, any issues. Okay, I'll try gear three on this hill. Come on! <laughs> oh, the scooter's pulling. <laughs> Impressive. Nice. <laughs> Off road tires are holding up pretty well. <laughs> yeah, that's impressive. God, you got up there, no problem. Let's keep going. Stem is pretty rock solid. Hello. Ooh. Scoot performed really well there. Well, thank God we have hydraulic brakes. Oh, <laughs> bit mucky. Holy crap! <laughs> Scooter is performing much better than I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, alright, thanks. Ah, yeah, Grant. Yeah, I know, but thanks.
Ja. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really well and this is wet if it was dry but really good this stem is really untested here oh Oh, that was that was a test. Here's Robbie on the Nami Born E. <laughs> it's a good test for the scooters. I must say, this scooter has performed really well. I mean, tires are brilliant. Like I said, stem is rock solid. I've only used about one volt of battery. And the brakes are doing a really good job. For example, okay, let's see what the brakes are like going down here. Ooh, it's been raining, so they're a bit squeaky. Ooh, here we go, and here's the sun. <laughs> nice. Wow. This is nice. And this is when you need definitely hydraulic brakes. You doing? <laughs> nice. Wow. Let's see what the Nami is like coming down. Thank God for hydraulic brakes. <laughs> Thank God we had hydraulic brakes there. Disc brakes? No. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> 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 huh? It's okay. Stuck in the gravel. <laughs> yeah, definitely. My friend Robbie has made multiple videos on his NAMI about the problems it has had, so definitely check out his channel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Could have been the last of of Robbie. <laughs> Hopefully the scooter gets up this. Maybe I'll put on gear one. Huh? 
Come on. Woohoo, very good. Well, the scooter is outperforming what I thought. It's really mucky here. Some of the ground is so soft, but the tires are definitely having a nice grip. I think if you had full off-road tires on a trail like this, of course it would be even easier. But so far, I mean, I can't complain at all. Oh, big dip there. And pulling uphill is literally no problem at all. Dual motors, yes. Yeah. We have a good bit of an incline here. And we have plenty of power to play with. Where is Robbie? <laughs> Thank God for dual motors. And Robbie on the Nami is actually using street tires. Where did you buy this from? Uh, I got it actually off Amazon. Amazon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I sure I'm on my trail at once. I'm they want to sell it or whether I want to lose it. <laughs> Here is the performance of the Vlacken G3 Pro going up such a steep hill. <laughs> this tail is going to definitely test the brakes. And the tires. Oh, thank you. Cheers. I must say, my review of the G3 Pro is concluded and i would say if you're looking for an all-round electric scooter definitely consider this one and it's linked right below
And once again, thank you to Vlacken for supplying me the scooter to make the videos. I really like this scooter, I really do. And I'll definitely be bringing it on more off-road trails. <laughs>